Amit Shah's roadshow in Kolkata was marred with violence last evening after Trinamool Congress supporters and the BJP workers got into a scuffle. Public property was damaged and the BJP president had to be escorted away by the police. Both political parties are blaming each other, with the Trinamool Congress accusing the BJP of destroying the statue of local icon Ishu Chandra Vidya Sagar. The BJP, on the other hand, has already complained to the Election Commission, asking the watchdog to bar the West Bengal Chief Minister from campaigning before the seventh and final phase of polling. Let's hear out what Amit Shah and Mamta Banerjee had to say about this incident. <laughs> ঈশ্বরচন্দ্র বিদ্যাসাগরের মূর্তি ভেঙে দিয়েছে এত বড় লজ্জা কখনো কলকাতায় ঘটেনি এমনকি নকশালদের আমলেও এই ঘটনা কিন্তু ঘটেনি अब तक चुनाव के छह चरण समाप्त हो चुके हैं देश भर में छह के छह चरण में कहीं पर हिंसा की कोई घटना नहीं हुई है सिवाय बंगाल के श्रीमती ममता बनर्जी का आरोप है कि हिंसा भारतीय जनता पार्टी कर रही है मैं ममता बनर्जी को एक बात बताना चाहता हूं कि आप सिर्फ बयालीस सीटों पर चुनाव लड़ रही हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी देश के हर राज्य में चुनाव लड़ रही है और हर राज्य में अलग अलग पार्टियों के खिलाफ कांग्रेस पार्टी के खिलाफ स्थानीय दलों के खिलाफ हमारा मुकाबला है वही हिंसा नहीं होती है और छ के छ चरण में बंगाल में हिंसा होती है इसका मतलब ही होता है कि हिंसा का कारण तृणमूल कांग्रेस है भारतीय जनता पार्टी नहीं है फॉर ऑन दिस वी जॉइन बाय शुभजीत बागची फ्रॉम द हिंदू इन कोलकाता शुभजीत थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस टुडे Amit Shah's road show was clearly marred by unprecedented violence that Kolkata has seen. Uh, the BJP and the Congress are, or the BJP and the Trinamool Congress are blaming each other. Uh, what what really happened, and is the situation really under control? Yeah, situation was very much under control. I mean, situation was under control within about an hour of the incident. I would say I was there, and um, it was well under control. Actually, it is not a very big. Very big incident, you know. I don't think more than a very few people who are injured on both sides. Uh, so it has become big because it is during the elections one and two, the bust of one of the iconic figures of 19th century Bengal, the Bengal Renaissance, Ishwar Chandra Vidyashagar. That bust has been um, demolished. So th that what made it uh, a big event. Otherwise, it was not. But what has happened, as we all know now, that there was a rally going on and. Uh, uh, on that road, which is uh, not very, very wide, uh, and it's a big rally going there, uh, Amit Shah's rally. And then there was this college where the students were protesting, showing black flags and, uh, you know, uh, all the placards and all that. There could be, we are not very sure, but I think there were uh, Trinamool Congress uh, students wing supporters were also there. Right. And, um, you know, as it happens, the scuffle, it started and then it flared up and then there's... Uh, people from the rally entered the, entered the building and it was ransacked. I mean, the ground floor hall is ransacked, but the building is not damaged. The bust of that uh, Bidra Sagar has been damaged. Okay. Yes. Shivaji, you know, what is the political infer inference that you make out of this? You know, we, we have seen the political discourse sink to an all-time low in, in Bengal politics. The Prime Minister of India and uh, the Chief Minister of Bengal, uh, Mamata Banerjee, taking pot shots at each, each other. We've seen the leader of the BJP being arrested for a, for a meme. Uh, and, and now comes this violence, uh, which again seems completely uh, unprecedented. Uh, the, the question is, is this a sign of resistance? Uh, what is the political inference that you're, or, 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 that you're drawing out of this? See, if you look at the political implication, I mean, there's one more round to go. I mean, the immediate, there is an immediate political uh, implication, which is the election on May 19th. And as far as that is concerned, um, well, Trinamool, I think, has an advantage because they are campaigning and uh, almost the entire media has is projecting it as, um, you know, the issue is not the violent. The issue is uh, targeting that uh, that bill, that college, and where uh, this uh, 19th century reformer, I mean, uh, he has played a major role in education reform and all. Mm. So his, his bust has been targeted. Mm. So that has become the issue. So the civil society are hitting the street 
all the political parties, including a section of the civil society of uh, BJP, also has condemned this. Mm. So this is, you know, the Bengalis. It is. It has hurt the sentiment of the Bengalis in a way. So, so what would be the impact of this? I think it would have. It don't have a huge impact, but a limited impact. Uh, it may affect BJP in at least three seats of Calcutta, mm. not really Bengal. There are nine seats going to poll on May 19. So in the three seats of Calcutta, it may have an impact because this has become a major issue in Calcutta. Um, so that is the immediate fallout. I think after the elections, it really doesn't matter. You know, after the election doesn't matter. Okay. It is usual uh, as usual. I mean, the usual politics which is going on in Bengal, it will um, uh, it will be there. Of course, BJP has. Uh, has gained uh, substantially in Bengal over the last uh, couple of years. Yep. And so BJP, uh, we have to see after the elections, after the results are out, whether they continue to grow or or not. That we have to find out. But as such, it won't be having a very long-term implication. Yesterday's incident, I mean. Okay. Uh, one final question, and Shubhaji, this is really a, the big picture question as far as Bengal is concerned. The BJP is clearly placing its bets on in, increasing its tally in, in Bengal. It won only won two out of 42 seats the last time. Uh, it clearly is betting on a Hindu consolidation, uh, you know, sort of uh, drive in, in the state of Bengal. Uh, will, will this sort of enhanced support actually translate into number of seats? Uh, what's your assessment? See, that is a question everybody is asking. Mm. Because if we look at the history of Bengal, I mean, getting 35% votes will not give you enough number of seats. As we have seen, you know, in this state, CPIM has been in power for 34 years. And all along, Congress Party, I mean, at least 20 years of that 35 years, Congress Party got 35% to 40% votes. But they, they could never come to power. or They didn't have enough seats, you know, both in the Lok Sabha as well as in, in the State Assembly to come to power. So you can get 35% votes, but you may not have enough seats. So that's a critical question. Now, having said that, I have traveled almost across the state from central, uh, from central Bengal, or let's say a uh, bit of North Bengal, Central Bengal, and South Bengal. And I, there is, there is, you know, there's a lot of groundswell as far as BJP is concerned. I have seen a lot of flags, posters, banners, cutouts of both Amit Shah and Narendra Modi everywhere. So this was my question to Trinamool Congress people, that what do you think of this groundswell? I mean, is it, are they really growing as much as they are, uh, as it appears on, on, on ground? So the Trinamool Congress's answer to this question is very simple. They say, you know, today you, put our flags, banners, and posters, you give it on contract. So we do that, BJP does that. They have more money, so they have more flags. It will not translate into seats. But definitely nobody is denying, nobody is denying that BJP's vote share will go up. And why it will go up? Because the space which, you know, the left is, uh, is, is kind of, I don't use the word decimated, it's a strong word, but left's vote is continuously, you know, reducing. And that space has been filled now which I remember Arun Jetli uh, said quite a few years back that we are going to take that they are going to take the left space in Bengal, and that exactly what has happened. The BJP has taken the left space, and their vote share is increased. The, in a very simplified form, I can I can tell you that. Of course, it has uh, other implications. Shubhajit, many thanks indeed for joining us with your perspective, Shubhajit Bakchi from the Hindu. If you have been, thank you so much for watching.